Voila! Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Oh, Keep that okay. up and Grab I may take hands. a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. I got so, everything. you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long he won't. Ooh. Great. Ooh, this is going to be a performance of a lifetime. God damn it, this car is just glitching. <laughs> He's here, and it's here. Where? Right over there. Perfect. You go distract him, and I'll get ready for my grand entrance. Ooh, alright. God damn it, that DeLorean is just... <laughs> it's so annoying, it's just there. When well, it's not supposed to be there. Hey, Emmett, what's keeping you? No, oh, hello, Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know. No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck. Oh, oh okay. for Pete's sake. Oh, jeez. Oh. You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. Yes, use it, use it, use it. Make yourself look like a fool. Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna fuck... Damn it! Just in the nick of time. Um, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Ooh. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Come yes, on. Yes, I'm feeling you a bit so much elevated better. at the moment. There's something I've just gotta ask Wait. you. Your tie's a bit crooked. Don't make it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. My grandfather's suit. My formula. Oh. Oh, look. Turn your head. I'll be oh, right God. back, and we can try this all over and again. It's Lathrop Brown. Huh? Trixie Trotter. How do you know this woman? I don't. I mean, I listened to some <laughs> of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I. Go on. Uh -huh. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What, what the is fuck? going on here? <laughs> you rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart. Oh well, my god. Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond Ouch. too. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, Little Emmett Jr. needs you. Edna, what a performance! Apparently, you are not the man I took you for. But I am. See? The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. Oh God. Yes. Ruin it. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. Once you're out of my sight, I never want to see you again. <laughs> What's with the, the slap? That was rough, Emmett. I'm sorry you had to go through it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can. Oh no. That went off great, huh? Yeah. Maybe oh, too no. great. The plan worked, but. Why do I feel so shitty inside? Damn it! I gotta talk to my friend. Damn it! Here. Oh, don't! No way! Come on! Where are you? Oh shit! Is he gonna jump? I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected. Emma, don't jump. Everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I. I know how this story turns out, and... Oh my god, he really is! The story is over. <gasps> Don't be crazy, dude! Okay, Emmett, hold still. 
I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. <laughs> emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. Hey, can I finally go mm. in the court? No, no, mm. no, nope, never mind. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't Oh my care. god, this is like suicide music right here. Stop! <laughs> Jesus, Emmett, stop! What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do you- This is where I come when I want to think. Oh. oh, oh, thank the Lord. I want to be alone. Oh. Tell me more. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... Enrage your emotions. Get some perspective. Think about it. All the people who have it even worse than you. For instance, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Trust me. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and, and see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It's amazing. Trust and me, dude. You just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look That's at my great. helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore. Oh my and god. I never we, will. We push don't him into give a me depression. That. You care. You care about Hill Valley. We're all depending on you to pull it together. Why? You're going to put Hill Valley on the map. Oh, please. My greatest fear is that I'll end up frittering my life away in this miserable town. Uh, I think I'm saying all the wrong things. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, how about... Uh... The light bulb? Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world oh worth my illuminating. Oh my lord. I did this. Oh no. The telephone. The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Don't think about it like that, man. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's, he just, he's just slicing himself over and over, Doc. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. You care about me? Me? You care about me, Doc. Oh. oh you? Y yeah. You. You did this to me. Oh. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. <laughs> Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a oh, hero shit. out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. No, no, no. Okay, I can work with that. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? Oh. <laughs> well, it's too... I think it's a little bit too late to be lying right now. Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? I did it for the hell of it? Are you serious? You down the wrong path. <laughs> I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see. I still did it for the hell of it. <laughs> your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes. How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, oh we're still going with the matter? delusional thing. The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? I did it for the hell of it. What the hell? I did it for the sake of everyone's future. I know future. this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. 
I'm <laughs> just trying to explain where I'm coming from. I did it. Oh my god. Fine. I did it for the hell of it. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun? Yeah. That's how I get my kicks. You bastard. And all that time you spent building up my dreams telling me I was going to be a great scientist. Was this scientist. the right choice in the, in the end? All right. You don't want to be cheerful? You're fucking delusional, Doc. Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. You're pathetic. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. All hey, right. daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. That's <laughs> what they said to Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, and look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, <laughs> then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. Damn right. My ideas. Do you hear me? My ideas. It's gone. Oh, God. I've got it. Got what? Solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. Huh? That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the what? lightning. The lightning. Suddenly, the answer is clear. It came to me all at once. Like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly. <laughs> static electricity. Yes. Super high and I static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside that. What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Damn it. <laughs> you're, you're you again. <laughs> Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. Oh, oh. God. And the expo begins at 8. Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens. What? Run. I said. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to stay. I need. No. Shit. She, 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 she. Gotta get the rope. I can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. I can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Oh. Well, might as well cut it off. Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. Anything in the truck I could use? Should I go for help? Ah! Better not leave him. What do I have? It's not going anywhere. Emmett, please. Hey, Emmett, what? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Oh, he, he did respond. Can I go back up? Yes, I could. Hold on. I wasn't planning on doing anything else. The expo's already started. Is that what I'm talking about? It's not going anywhere. All right, we get it. It's not going anywhere. Now, what do we do? I don't have anything. Can I cut it with this? I'm good, but even I don't think I could skateboard on that. I can't undo the knot. How am I supposed to cut it? Oh! Hang in there! I don't have a choice! Let's see if I could talk to him. Damn it! What? You got anything useful? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh! And this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Throw it! All right. Thank you. Hang in there. Very funny. 
Thank you very much, Emma. Get that. Emmett's solution. This stuff's dangerous. Now spray on the rope. Woo! I can't grab it from here. All right. There we go. Let's go down again. Down, down, down to the bottom of the rock. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Ah, woo. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Your pants, they're stuck. Do something before we're crushed! No! Ah! Oh, shit. Come what on. are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! Do it! <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Marty! Marty! Thanks! Don't <laughs> mention it. Whoa! <laughs> 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 The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? Oh. You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of let's course, finish the it. oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Let's finish it, Doc. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Damn right, Doc. Damn right. And Edna's walking alone. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's Monday terrestrial functionality remains intact. Is it? As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... Someone I used to... <laughs> there, there, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure we'll all turn out well in the end. This is not Maybe gonna go for well. everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. This ain't gonna work. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett. What? And his friends. What's what's going on? Tell me, how much do you know about Sonny Crockett? What's going on? Oh shit! No! You gotta be kidding me! Oh no! It ends right here. Oh, this is just sucks. In the final episode. Oh, Lord. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. Huh? She what? used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Oh, God. Doc. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. I swear, this episode, I, I, the only word I could give this episode, simply brilliant. My God, I was off my chair for like the entirety of the time. I mean, every action I did was like so, so fast paced, so exciting, so exhilarating, yo. Though I thought, I was pretty sure it was going to end at the expo. I did not, I did not know it was going to end with. This is just crazy, Doc. Doc and young Edna. Oh, what kind of, what kind of crazy shit are they gonna come up with? What does he have in mind? 
I know Doc and Marty had a falling out just now, but it really couldn't subject to like he's just gonna fuck it up even more, you know. He's working together with a young Edna. They're gonna they're gonna really change into a time that no one could appreciate whatsoever. 2011 Telltale Incorporated. My God. Really, that was a really long episode, but it was worth it. Oh my God. So anyways, guys, you know what I'm going to say. Next episode is the final one. Oh Lord, I, I really can't wait. But I really don't want to play it because I know it's the end and it's going to finish it. But I, I'm really excited to figure out how everything is going to end. How, since Doc and Marty just had a falling out, how are they going to go back to being friends? Is Edna going to... Is it going to take young Edna to show Doc just how much he was wrong that she actually needs to be alone? Oh my god. And will we actually see Claire at the end of this? I'm hoping that will happen. And what about Jennifer? Jeez. I hope Jennifer... I'm pretty. I'm hoping everyone will go back to the, to the way they were, and I'm pretty. I'm making a guess right now, a little hypothesis that, yep, and it seems most certain that Edna's life will be changed by the end of this. I mean, it 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 just seems like it. That's my prediction. But all answers will be concluded in the next episode, and not as episode as in parts, but. The Legitimate Back to the Future Episode 5. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down and comment on how much on how much you liked it or hated it or whatever emotions this the, this session brought to you. But until next time, thank you guys. And hasta luego. Bleh!